Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you a really cool way to line up your iron-on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl designs on t-shirts. Um, this works for long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, onesies. Um, as you can see here, this comes with adult, youth, toddler, and infant. This is just the scoop neck. This is not a v-neck. Um, I think Design Bundles has one for v-neck. I'll have to look at that. I first saw people using these t-shirt alignment tools on TikTok, and then when I was on Design Bundles the other day, I saw that they had these. So I decided I would give it a try because I always have troubles with lining up my design. I struggle with getting it right in the center or having it be a little crooked. So I'm excited to try this out. There's other options that you can buy. You can look on Etsy. I think even Design Bundles has some different, different options also. If you just Google t-shirt alignment tool, you can just look through all the different options. This specific one that I'm using is from SVG Cuttables and it's a PDF printable. So I'm just gonna click on the next screen. So how this one works is you print it out on heavy cardstock. I'm printing out on 65 pound cardstock. You can try an even heavier weight cardstock if your printer will allow it to go through. I only tried the 65 pound and it felt thick enough to work for me. Then I'll cut it out with scissors and here there's just a note saying this is not a cut file so if it was a cut file then it would be an SVG and I think there are some SVGs out there if you want to make this on your Glowforge so for me this was the easiest just print it off and cut it out I also liked how this had like the different age range here this one is four dollars so what you'll do is hit add to cart then you'll go into the cart over here to purchase it and you'll get an email to get it downloaded so I believe in the cart it might say download, but also in the email you get there'll be a big green box that says download here. Here it says you've already purchased this product. If you'd like to download it, please click here. So I'm gonna download it to show you how this works. So I'll click on that. Here's my t-shirt alignment tool. I'm going to go over to download files, this green button here. At first I was like, where is it downloading? And I realized that it just pops up down at the bottom. What you'll do is just select this. It's a zip file. So just select that and it pops up down here. I'm on a Mac computer, but I'll show you if you're on a Windows computer how you would do this also. I'm gonna go down to my Finder. If you're on a Windows, just go to your regular folders. Now I'm in my Downloads folder. Here you can see the zip file. It's been a while since I've had a Windows computer, but I believe what you would do is right click on the zip file and go to Extract All, and then you'll right click again and hit install. But for a Mac, all you do is just double click and a blue folder will come up. Then you just double click in there. Then just open that up. Once you open that up, you can see the PDF file. Then you'll just go up to the top and hit file, print. I get so many questions on what printer I have. I have an Epson printer. Mine is discontinued, unfortunately, but I can find one similar that looks like a good printer. Link down below if you are looking for a new printer. Then I'll just select print. It'll start printing out the PDF files. I forgot to pull the tray out on my printer, so the paper kind of just flew out. Here's all four templates. Now I am just going to cut these out. It feels kind of weird using my scissors when I have a Cricut machine, but for me, this was just faster and easier. I'm sure you can use an SVG file and cut it out, but I decided just to go with this. I want to show you a cool thing with this t-shirt alignment tool. It'll show you how far down from the neckline to put your design on your shirt. I thought I would just measure it to show you how many inches they are. The adult one is around three inches. The youth is about two and a half inches. The toddler is one and a half and the infant is one inch down from the neckline. For scoop neck shirts, I think those are really good measurements um, just for the different shirt sizes. 
I set my alignment tool around the scoop neck of the shirt. After the placing the template down, I noticed that it didn't line up against the neckline perfectly. Every shirt is different, so that is probably why. Because of that, I found it hard to find the actual center of the shirt, so I'll show you my hack for doing that. I have my easy press set, then I fold my t-shirt in half. I make sure the seams of the shirt are lined up as well as the armpits lined up. Then I place my easy press on top and run it over it. I was hoping the alignment tool would eliminate me having to do this, but it's not really adding any extra steps because doing this is preheating the shirt at the same time, which I always recommend before adding your vinyl. And I'll show you how this tool is still really helpful for me. It might be hard to see on camera, but here's the line that I created and this is the center of the shirt. Now I line up the arrow on the adult template with the line on the t-shirt. I also decided just to double check that it really was in the center. The shirt's 14 inches across and the center is right at 7 inches. As you can see, there is a little extra space on one side, so if your alignment tool doesn't line up right with the neckline, I would recommend finding the center on the shirt with the easy press. If the template lines up right up against it, then you can skip that part. Now I'm ready to place my design on my t-shirt. This design is eight inches wide and you'll want to line it up two different ways. You'll want to make sure that the design is centered and you'll also want to make sure the design is not crooked. To make sure it's centered, you want the outer edge of the X right up against the four and the most outer edge of the O against the other four. I chose the four inch lines because my design is eight inches and this will make sure it's centered. Next, you'll want to make sure the top of the letters line up with the bottom edge of the template. I lined up the X with the other X. The O's went a little above the template because they must be just barely taller than the X. Doing this will make sure the design is straight and not crooked at all. Also, lining it up at the bottom edge ensures that it is spaced down enough on the shirt. So here it is down three inches from the neckline. Once I have the design lined up, I remove the template. Then I place my Teflon sheet on top. You can use parchment paper as well. With this simple of a design, you might not need anything between it at all, but I've just gotten in the habit of always adding a Teflon sheet. Then I press my easy press for 315 degrees at 30 seconds. Once it's done, you can remove the carrier sheet. Here's how it looks when it's done. Even though this template didn't line up perfectly with the neck collar, it is still a complete game changer for me. With t-shirts, there's three things that you need to do to have it lined up correctly. You want the design in the correct spot going down from the neck collar. You want it in the center of the shirt and you want to make sure it's not crooked. Using this template, it makes it so much easier for me, so I am glad I was able to share that with you. Let me know what you use to line up your shirts or if you're going to give this a try. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope you have a great day.